Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Joseph with Explosive Videos. And you guys will not believe what just happened right before I got home right now. All right, let me set the back scene for you guys. Today, my wife, my son, and some friends of ours decided we'd get together at Chuck E. Cheese. You know, innocent, having a good time. We're playing games, eating pizza, doing the whole family thing, family and friend thing. Then the unthinkable happens. My friend who was just taking pictures, we'll call him, we'll call him Agent T, okay? Agent T was taking pictures with his iPhone. Wonderful, expensive product. I say wonderful, you guys probably like, oh, he's gonna do, this is a, a commercial for iPhones. I don't care what you call it, because iPhones are amazing. I'll get to that in a minute, okay? So Agent T is taking pictures, bloop, 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 and then he puts his phone away. He has a little waist thing where you clamp it on there. A little while later, he's like, hey, have you guys seen my phone? Somehow it came off his clip, okay? So we're running around, talking to the uh, Chuck E. Cheese staff. I'm asking people, you know, have you seen a phone? Have you seen a phone? Which, in this day and age, even if they saw the phone, they wouldn't tell you. It's probably in their pocket right there. So, you know, we're running around. We're running around looking for the phone for a long time. So I believe he gets on the phone somehow, gets in contact with his mom. His mom is able to remotely, from her computer, put a passcode on his phone that was just lost. So now anybody that has it would have to enter the passcode to even get into the phone. What she also does is, I believe there's an app that's called like Find My Phone or something like that. She sets the passcode, sends out like some little beacon thing where it starts beeping like an alert or something like that. So we're walking around Chuck E. Cheese, everybody's searching, trying to hear, hear for the sound. Nobody hears the sound, so after a while, they pinpoint through the iPhone remotely where his mom is at home on her computer is able to give us an address to the area where the iPhone is currently at. So we all jump in the cars, okay? We got Agent T, I'm Agent H, and we got Agent R. Our wives and our kids, okay? Now we're driving, we're driving, then we pull up to a trailer park. I'm thinking in my head, oh man, it was a good try, but we're in a trailer park. It's not, you know, a house. It's a trailer park because it didn't give us the exact address. It gave us the general location of where the phone was at. So we get there, we look around, drive around a little bit. He calls his mom back like, hey, is there any way you can pinpoint it? It shows her that the phone started over on this end of the street and now relocated over to this end of the street. So we know we're in the right area. We stake the area out and we park at the end of the street. So Agent T gets out, I get out, Agent H, Agent R is in the car with his wife, my wife, and my son Jeshua. Agent T's wife and their kids are in their car. So I tell Agent T before we get to the first door, I say, I'll stand back around the corner. You knock on the door because it'll probably be intimidating if there's a couple people, you know, men standing at somebody's door. So Agent T goes around. I'm standing behind the hedge on the, on the side of the trailer, you know, and as soon as the door opened, I was going to come walk up and, you know, make my <laughs> presence known, you know? So Agent T knocks on the door. Door opens up. It's an old lady. That was a dead lead. We're walking up and down the street a little bit more. He calls his mom back. She says, hey, the phone just moved to this location. It's within this range of houses. So there happens to be a little party going on. You know, some Hispanic people having a party. In my head, I'm like, they're having a party. They were probably here all day, okay? There's a guy out there. Agent T says, hey, you mind asking him because you speak Spanish. So I go up to the guy. He's, he's on a Bluetooth. I'm like, hey, excuse me, you know, in Spanish. I'm like, by chance, Anybody here was at Chuck E. Cheese earlier, you know, found an iPhone? Well, the guy says that he doesn't even know where Chuck E. Cheese is and kind of brushes me off. So I'm like, well, okay, thank you, appreciate it. So we go down the way a little bit, having to knock on the last door because it had to be in that area. And it's the manager of the trailer park, the mobile homes. So the manager is, she's like, oh no, you know, uh, we were here all day, her and her husband, but she's like, you know what? I, it really bothers me to know that you know that that this would happen you know with with the residents that live here so she was like you know maybe it could have been one of their friends came by dropped it off or something like that yada 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 so as we're leaving her agent t's wife gets out of the car she walks up to agent t hands him his phone it's his mother and i guess she's updating them on you know information on where the phone is moving in that area and needless to say in the process of all this, a guy from that same party that I approached earlier comes out and is like, hey man, uh, you guys seem to be lost or something. 
And I, you know, I explained the situation to him and everything, you know, I asked him, you know, if, if they know anything about iPhone. And he was like, you know, no, okay. And then he went and started talking to the manager. So when he takes off to go talk to the manager, Agent T is still pacing up and down the street. Agent T's wife is heading back to the car. Uh, Agent H and Agent R, we decide to go knock on another house. Uh, dead lead there. By the time we get back down the steps, Agent T walks up and says, I got the phone. He has his iPhone. Can you believe that? Like, we were in Tacoma, like 25 minutes away from the location that we were at at the time that we found the iPhone. How crazy is that? So, I, you know, we asked him, like, where'd you get it from? That same party that we had approached earlier, turns out one of them had the phone with them. The whole time they knew it. But I guess maybe just with all the stuff that was going on, maybe they felt the pressure and they decided to come up and give the phone to him. And here's the story. Here's what they said. The guy walks up, hands him the phone, and says, Oh, I found it. It was somebody threw it in my yard. That's what he said. Okay, we left it. Agent T says, All right, it's done. We got our phone. They said, Thank you. Jumped in our cars and we took off. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? I mean, it's like iPhone detectives, you know? That's why I gave us the agent, the agent code names and everything like that. We're at Chuck E. Cheese, 25 minutes away, and end up locating remotely from a computer where this iPhone was. These things are amazing. I don't have an iPhone, but I'm going to get one. I guarantee you. That is so amazing that you can do this type of stuff with the technology that we have nowadays. Thank you guys for watching. This is Joseph with Explosive Videos. And don't be still no iPhones because you might get tracked down. Thank you. Explosive. Explosive.